I have a GTEC i3A Pro and I was having trouble with the update of Kira doing multi-color prints, changing at layer height. What was happening is the print head would either pause on the part or it would go over to where I told it to go, pause only for a second and then go right back to the part and start printing again. Or I could get it to come off the part, go over to the corner, wait, and I change the filament. And then when it went back to the part, the extruder would not start printing again. That was the problem that I was trying to figure out how to overcome. I looked up a bunch of things online. I couldn't find any answers. So what I came up with is finally got lucky, I think. I went to preferences, printers. And under machine settings, right here, I changed this to Marlin. The, um, it was originally, I think it was Griffin. I don't know what it was set at. But I changed it to Marlin, and I don't have any problem with that anymore. And what I do after that is I just figure out what height I want the layer to change at. Like on this one, I wanted it to change right above... And this was just a test part. I wanted to change right above where the millimeters at on that. So that was about layer 17. I just went to layer number 17, set my disarm time out to 1800 seconds, which is 30 minutes, I believe. And I parked my head at 10 and 25, just somewhere near the front corner. It's easier to access. They have it set at 190 and 190. The reason I don't go zero zero is because it puts pressure on the springs for the stop switches at the zero. And I believe that just for a split second before it hits this disarm timeout, it releases and it shifts just slightly because of that spring pressure. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, I found that 10 and 25 seems to work pretty good for my printer. I set retraction at 25 millimeters, 25 millimeters a second. That's so that the... Uh, filament is not in the hot end all the way. I don't touch these. Standby temperature I set at 100 C just so it doesn't cool off all the way before I get through changing filament if it takes me a while. The display text doesn't change on my printer. I don't know if your GTEC display text will change if you put anything in there but I've just played around putting different things in there. Uh, this G code I've made myself a little note so I remember what this is and it's a uh, m300 makes it tone and this is supposed to change the frequency I've just started playing with that and the p1000 is how long it'll be and I usually set that at p2000 or 3000 anyway I hope this helps somebody out I sure couldn't figure it out I couldn't find anything on the internet I mean I found a lot of speculation and ideas but none of them worked but just changing that to Marlin is what fixed it for me. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you. This is a multicolor print I made before Kira did their changes, and three versions of the Eiffel Tower. Just so happened they worked out in red, white, and blue. This video is all from back in 2016 when I first got the printer. Uh, I learned how to make it stop so I can change the color. Uh, print different colors at layer heights But to be fair everybody's got to learn so Here's the print failure bucket Yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to keep that Lots of half-finished gears and all kinds of stuff that didn't work But it's a lot of fun